Playing for 36 years, the Hong Kong Sevens has reached Cup final stage. Fiji to play New Zealand. They've got a long history head to head. It's 39 to 26. They last met in Wellington in February, but before that they met in Gold Coast. This is the third final Fiji have met New Zealand in 2012's season. Let's meet the two teams the Fijians have built around. The big powerful captaincy from the number two shirt of Setefano the Cal. But the rest of these guys are absolute stars. Look for number seven, Sikeli Varuna, who was uh, back in the team where they just uh, looking out for him earlier today with uh, perhaps a shadow of an injury. But they've got some beautiful runners Lutumalangi Talambua, Matawalu, Jimilai, Nakandawa. It's a beautiful team. And the two brothers, Waisea Naid Angalevu. Number three and his brother on the reserve bench, Abanisi Basuinumbu, Fiji. New Zealand are playing the same team as won their way to the final. Titch is taking young Jack Wilson, backing him to start, and maybe Danny Sevilla to come off the bench. Team is built around the wisdom of DJ Forbes and Mickelson, Tharma and Heem. Now Jackman and the youth new kids, Wilson and Lolangi Bissania. And a wonderful moment for our referee. He's a 25-year-old from Johannesburg. His name is Rasta Ruska Vengi. i tell you what, you wouldn't meet a nicer kid. But look at him, growing into a man to control his first HSBC Sevens World Series final. And I reckon he'd beat Andy Nichol as fast as any player on the field. Yeah, but what about those anthems, Keith? That was just fantastic to watch the Fijians there. I've been very lucky enough to sit, stand on international pictures when your national anthem or sung. You. It is so good and hope the game can follow that, because that was brilliant. Two crafty coaches watching, Alaparetti and Derry, and Gordon Titchens, the 2012 Cafe Pacific, HSBC, Hong Kong Sevens is underway. And uh, hit the clocks. This is bound to be a lot of sparkling action over the next 10 minutes each way. Our first look at Joali Lutumalangi and driving in is number six, Nicola Matawalu. And away they go quickly. They'll try to play the game at pace. It's a Talambula. These guys can play. There's the captain. His first look, but they're on to him. Now, Jack Wilson, number five on the New Zealand side. What a... I think it's safe to say it's a fairy tale rise in seven rugby terms. But here comes Talambula. Caught by Tomasi Thama. And carried on by Naikandawa. Fiji almost sings of 1990 repeated in that pass. And it's going to make the first try. The beautiful try by Nayakalebu. I hope you can get the atmosphere wherever you are in the world because this place in Hong Kong has just erupted with some fantastic rugby. So it's great play by Fiji down the right here. Yeah, roll away. They had a little look at it. They had a little go down, it was good. And then White, that's um, Mat um, Talimbula put the pace on. But watch when it comes back from Nakandawa. Watch this play from the captain. Look at that ball from Thakau. Fantastic. And then it goes to Ryan Lethalu. And there it goes. What a score for Fiji. I hope you didn't mind me harking back to some uh, many years ago, back in 1990. Tomasi Thama Sr. His son is playing for New Zealand. This made a pass between his legs with Serebi and all the other great players of Fiji in a final which started the action. And it's confirmed with more brilliant action here in 2012. Tim Mickelson, DJ number four, Bryce Heem. Mark Jackman, the biggest games of these boys' lives. And here's Jack Wilson. He scored a 50-metre try against South Africa yesterday and a 100-metre try no. against South Africa today. He and uh, he's been rewarded with a place in the final. Yes, he has. He deserves as well. But in those two tries, he wasn't chased down by Varuna, Let's who's got clock, gas to burn. Two, what a start six, to the final. Clock. Electric. What a try that was. By Fiji. And that try in 1990 went between the legs, over the top, all sorts of tricks and stunts. And Tomasi Thama ran away to score. And what it's never been That's forgotten. It's the video is still replayed. And here comes Fiji piling on the pressure. The bounce is kind. Luke Malangi.
Second try for Fiji. The coach, I'm sure, is absolutely delighted. The Malangi goes in. It was a great kick. New Zealand didn't have a sweeper because it was from first phase. And the ball bounced up beautifully. You can see there comes the Matawala. Matawala, he sees that there's nobody home for New Zealand. It bounces up. And there's no way that Pacinia can get back. And did you notice how speedy referee? He was right there to get him the, the photograph of the try being scored. A beautiful moment. And it's uh, not such a beautiful moment from the kickoff. 14 to nil, two converted tries. What a start by Fiji. The first one by Nayatha Levu, the second by Lutumalangi. The captain here must be delighted. But there's a long, long way to go. Up, yes, up, and that was the first Come mistake up. Fiji have made four minutes Come into this up, final. First, time, first chance, really, for New Zealand to have the ball. Come back on. Young lad running the ball out, so the referee wisely stopped the clock. New Zealand needs to get into this really quickly, or the momentum might carry them. Carry Fiji well clear. Good tackle by Talambula. Was, uh, kind of dragged the New Zealander down. Penalty for New Mickelson, Zealand. Mickelson takes it quickly. Tim Mickelson flings it to his left to Farmer. And New Zealand's Fijian born player goes close. And they'll get another penalty. No, they won't. It's released. Not released by Thama. Fiji break away. Matawalu taken by Vicenia, the new kid in the New Zealand team. Right out of school. Bryce Heem also from Auckland. There's plenty of determination in the effort being put in here by New Zealand. Mark Jackman. Thama. He's got Mickelson to his left. Delays it. Gives it to Jackman. Oh, well taken try by Jackman. He scored it against the base of the padding on the goalpost, which is allowed. What a game. What a game. Two tries for Fiji. New Zealand come firing right back. Tom Farmer had botched the try earlier. He just held on here. Him. He comes in by a great angle there by Jackman. And you watch here, he gets tackled, but he puts it down right at the base of the post. Great score. We watch the replay, the conversion from under the post is over. 14 to 7 now. And just under four minutes to go in the first half. How good is this? How good thinking was that though, Jackman? Jackman knew he was going to get tackled. You never know, he might knock it on, but he put it down at the base. Good play. Farmer kicks. Forbes chases. Two captains meet. Look for the spark from Matawalu. Oh, beautiful pass. Lovely running. Nayaka Lebu. A wild wayward pass. Jackman. You've just got to sit back and admire this game. Both sides putting it on the line. Fiji playing some sensational rugby. Tamil, please. Matawalu took it through. And then it was Nayatha Levu. And he just could not get the ball there to Nakandawa. If it had gone, it would have been one of the tries of the championship, no doubt about it. But Jackman got back, but he's tackling a touch. What a game. What fantastic rugby. Let's just take a moment here to catch our breath. What a game it is. Time back on. These two teams have come to spark it up. And the, maybe the best is yet to come. Deep, audacious throw. Sorry? And it's going to pay off. The, no, no, not straight. Everyone excited at the far end. Luta Malangi over again, but no big dive yeah, there. Like Disappointment. Look at the faces. I couldn't hear him clearly. They've got nothing to complain about. It was nowhere near straight. Well, the referee couldn't hear the call. What are they saying here? 
The referee just said he couldn't, there was a delay, and that's why I couldn't believe they got away with it, because they went over right over the line out, Fiji, but it was nowhere near straight. Catch. And that's a, that's a mistake, because look where they were. Touch. Pause. Inga. Jack Wilson against Nyatha Levu. Vicinia. Heem. Big tackle on him by Varuna. Haven't seen him run with right the ball now. yet. So and he's lost feet, lost feet. very lost. good. Thama delay and give space to the New Zealand captain. Are they going to try and run one coast to coast? Mickelson, there's one man ahead. Tomasi Thama. I don't think he has. Oh. Tim Mickelson, what a wonderful run. But not enough. Look at him, he's exhausted there. Well, no wonder, but Matawalu, you've got to take your hat off. He defended this brilliantly. Mickelson was all the way there. He's not in vision yet, but Matawalu didn't overcommit. Look at him going back, left, right, left, right. Mickelson just, but look at the support for DJ Forbes. His work rate is phenomenal. You recycle this, you think it has to be a try, but Thama was held Touch. up over the line. It's a New Zealand put in on attack. Touch. Pause. Inga. Oh, disrupted scrum. It is just with New Zealand. It's with Jackman. A one handed pickup. And a try, his second. Wait on. Tamil. Hold the phone. Tamil. Back up there. First question. Did you see a clear grounding in goal? Did not see a clear grounding. All right, thank you. And that in goal touch touch did not see a clear grounding. From your angle, did you see a clear grounding in goal? I did. Clear grounding. Thank you. Time back on. Oh, Mark Jackman. Two tries. Well, the referee got in the way with that. Now, in interesting, let's have a look. That is just enough downward pressure. He doesn't yeah. have to have control, he just has to have downward pressure. Not everybody in the arena agrees, but I think that was a try. Just rolling off the fingers. Uh, downward pressure is not actually worded in the law book. It talks about control of hand or torso, ball and ground. It's all tied up, 14 all at half time. We've got blazing speed from Fiji. We've got uh, tenacious New Zealanders. And with the two mixes of that kind of approach on either side, we've got a 14 all game as the second 10 minute period begins. Mickelson. You took up space and she the tackle. Quickly taken by Thama. Got some good ground running forward. Oh! Hook back, another penalty for New Zealand for hands. He came in the side, Keith. If he'd, if he'd come in from the gate, he was okay. But he came at the side. So Thama again. And this time he's gone to the sideline to organise a line-out to attack that way. It's 45th tournament. Look at the total of points. He's the second highest points scorer in the history of the IRB Sevens Tour. Ben Gollings is in the lead by uh, many, uh, over a thousand. <laughs> but Tomasi Thama second and Waisali Sarebi is still there in third place in points scoring. Thama throw. Mickelson is playing all over the park. Forbes. Thama. Wilson is still on the field. A measured approach by New Zealand. You heard Coach Titchen say, played at our speed. Jackman. Move on, Tackler! Three, quicker, please. That's against the Waisia Nayafalebu. Mickelson. Thama, Wilson, he loves to play it tough in the forward, that's why Titchens put him in the team. He's got exposed, okay. 
the, fame, the work rate wasn't there off the ball, and he got exposed in turnover. Okay. Matawalu on him. That's a penalty for Fiji. This is trouble for New Zealand. Matawalu out wide to the cow. Fiji back in front. The skipper's giving a lead. Defence in their own 22 and a blink of the eye. One kick down from Matawalu there. Braceem got back, but he was turned over, he held on the ball. He got penalised, and they were so quick. Matawalu takes it, gives it to the skipper, Fakau. He goes right round, past Mickelson. Is it a seven-pointer? First came into the team ten seasons ago. Wasn't a regular for a number of years, but now is the leader and leads from the front. The conversion is over, it's 21 to 14, and is that the end of the day for the cow or for one of the players coming off? Yep, that goes off. And so here comes Ilay tonight. Three tries to two, six and a half minutes to go. That's a, a long, long way. Right now. Oh, Forbes. Off your feet and then a side empty. Referee First is Rasta, Rasta Vengi from feet. South Africa. The scene down for me, Tal Talambula has gone off as well with an injured wrist. So one of Fiji's playmakers has gone off as well. Yes, he's gone for good. I think he's not hurrying. I thought it might have been a, a, a cut or a tear. In, in which case it would have been a blood bin, but no one's hurrying with it. So Tanai is on as a replacement for Talambula. It's a bit of a blow for Fiji, but they've got the lead at the moment and they're playing the game of their Who's lives here at the moment. Vicinia for New Zealand finds Jackman, a nice pass away to the right. Jackman's got lots of confidence and a good ability to pass. Here is Mickelson, so wise, knows exactly what's on at all times. But look at the swarming Fijians. First one, last forward first. You picked it up, then you lost the fourth. Yeah, he got it. You could hear very good refereeing there. You had it, but you knocked it on. He was on the pitch now as well, and he fired into Tham up. He must have heard him coming down on him, raining down on him. Titchens has made a change. Wilson is off, and Adi Sevilla is on. So it's exactly the same formula that won them the semi final against South Africa. Pause, Egan. Thama. Jackman, he now let's see if Vicinia can find space. Oh, tenacious defense on him by Varuna. Keeping it in play. Referee says he agrees with the touch judge. Yeah, just pressure defense. It was good. Good defense by Varuna. Then you had a go at him. He didn't really get him, but he stopped him, certainly, and then the support was able to get it out. Good position. Now, Fiji messed up the line out when they were really attacking. Can they get this right? Matawalu is making a lot of adjustments. We've got uh, Mbote on again. Oh, dear. We're going to have a yellow card here. Yeah, that's dangerous. I know it's dangerous. Jackman goes to the bin. He'll only have two minutes. Look at him set off there. Yeah, he's just taking him there, Keith. You can't do that. Uh, Very on. dangerous. You know, it's a natural thing to do, isn't it? It's just a bad time, bad timing. And it's a shame. He's been, a, he's been really good for New Zealand in this final. Well, he scored the two tries, and now he's in the bin. Lalangi Vicini is subbed off, and Joe Weber is on. That's Weber up at the top of the picture for New Zealand, but it's defence they're thinking about at the moment. Big run forward by Nayatha Lebu. Yeah, he was on his feet. Number one is on the field now, Nangusa. Here goes the big man in Botia. But it's Matawalu. Great 
great score by Matawalu. But the impact that the Fiji bench has made because of Botia did a fantastic and the crowd here, the Fijian crowd in Hong Kong are loving it, straight from the penalty. Matuwalo, the playmaker, Nathalevu takes it on, but wait you see coming in here, Botia number four, he takes it, route one, but watch that lovely offload to Matuwalo, beautiful weight in it. We'll see it at a great angle here, he just runs straight, Mickelson gets him, but watch this offload, he knew the support was there. Trying to model while it's being converted. It's 28 to 14. There's the sand figure of Mark Jackman in the sin bin. Very good high kickoff. And the swinging arm of Mbotia tries to get it for P. Under him. New Zealand were 14 points down in the first half. Here is Joe Weber. His first big final, schoolboy, just months ago, Thama. New Zealand were 14 down and levelled up. They've got to do exactly the same now. Down goes Adi Sabir. Entry by you, side entry. There we go. Sabir takes it. To Weber. Lovely footwork by Joe Weber. Gives it to Sabir. He finds him. Six men on the field, and Bryce Heen runs it in. This fight is better and better. Bryce Heen, he's blowing hard, but he's just brought his team right back into this final. That's the, that's the try line you can see. That's New Zealand try line. But the new kid comes on, Joe Weber. Big step in the pink boots. Good pace there. Thought it was a good. I thought I was going to make it. But look at the support. That's what New Zealand are absolutely renowned for. The Bryce team goes in for the try that brings New Zealand right back into the final. Just call eight, please. There's the kick for goal from Tomasi Thama. It's over. It's a 28 to 21 game here now. But the clock is ticking. A minute to play. A minute to play. This is a very important kickoff for New Zealand. Into the game for New Zealand comes Wasak in the holo and Bryce Heem exhausted goes to the sideline. This is here's the kickoff. Who gets the possession? It's taken by the big man Lavati and Botia. And it's gonna be a run away. A beautiful run by Nayata Lebu. That will clinch it. Your eyes have seen the glory of a great sevens game and a wonderful, wonderful victory for Fiji. Absolutely in. fantastic. Naya Leto finishes off, but it was a brilliant pass again from Botia. And that's it. That's one of the best games of seven aside I've certainly witnessed in person. This is the kickoff. New Zealand needed it back. They've got themselves back into it. But look at it, it was Mbotia, what a pass. And then the pace from Nayata Lebu. Brilliant, brilliant rugby. And Fiji have been the best team, I think, Keith, to be honest, the whole championship, the whole tournament. And they've won it. 35 to 21, he's exhausted at halfway. The ball is kicked out on the full. It'll be a free kick to New Zealand. We might just see a little bit more of the Sevens Rugby glory. If, in case you've just discovered the sport somewhere around the massive TV audience today, this is a game which is going to the Summer Olympic Games in 2016. And won't it be a brilliant spectacle if it's half as good as this? Naholo for New Zealand. A Fijian-born player will have the last say. It won't be enough. We have trouble. Enough, enough, please, enough, boys. Hey, guys, come on. High emotion. Come on, try it. come on, let's get out of here. Thank you. The try scorer for New Zealand is Waisaki Naholo, one of the two Fijian boys, born players in the New Zealand team. And, uh, yep, tempers, it hinted at boiling over there.
but it was a climax to a wonderful, wonderful game. 35 to 26, and the 2012 Cathay Pacific HSBC Sevens final has been won by an exhausted Fijian team in great fashion by 35 to 26. <laughs> it might not be in the, the book Thank you. Thank you. because the conversion must be taken. And New Zealand have given it to Mark Jackman to come off the bench uh, and take the shot for goal. He kicked the goal, rewrites the record books to 35 to 28. What a game! What a beautiful, glorious rugby game! Can I say it one more time? Your eyes have seen the glory. Let's go to the sideline again. Here's Gordon Titchens. Yeah, it was. I mean, Fiji were very, very good today. They're tremendous. They played a great game. And uh, they out there on fire, you know. And uh, I was just saying to my players how proud I was of them. You know, they, they really fought back. And 35-28 is a pretty, pretty close result. You brought some young guys through, Titch. You'd be delighted with the way that they've coped at this pressure. Yeah, you'd never take that experience away from them. You know, they played well above expectations. And uh, really proud of them to get as far as the final and, and go close to winning it. All right, Titch. See you next week in Japan. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Some nice words from the coach Titchens. He knows his team was beaten. He knows they played a great final. And there there's the young man going up. Kyle O'Donnell, who didn't play today with his injured ankle. Tim Mickelson, who was everywhere. Artie Sevilla, Bryce Heen. Keith, they played so well in that final. If they played against any other country in the world here, they'd have won that final. They played so well, but they just came up against a side who were absolutely on fire all weekend. So here comes the Fijian team. The last six games between New Zealand and Fiji have had alternate victories. So it was Fiji's turn today, according to the record books, and they have delivered. Oh, what a match. That's one of the greatest finals of it. And the IRB HSBC Sevens World Series travels now to Tokyo, Japan. We'll be in action there in seven days' time. Fantastic to be with you here from Hong Kong. What a beautiful event. And we say goodbye.